and welcome back to a research proposal part two. Trying to chug through and get all this done in one sitting. Let's see how I can do on that. So then after presenting all this information about locus of control and sexual assault, she has a section here where she begins to start to weave all that information together. What happens when you bring together research on locus of control and on sexual assault? Not only that, but what research out there exists on locus of control and sexual assault? And I think uh, that typo there is based on the optical scanner. Uh, but what she's doing is she's very clearly and at length describing the study by uh, Curdy. Uh, because this is going to be one of the basic uh, you know, studies that she bases her study on. So since that's the case, she's going to spend a lot of time describing Curdy's study because that's going to be the model or the template. And then you notice here in the uh, introduction section, uh, what she's beginning to do is she's beginning to talk about or give us a preview of the methodology. Uh, the present study will combine the effects of the respondent's locus control and victim's level of attractiveness. Uh, and she's starting to weave together the two different areas of research and she's starting to give us a preview of what the method section will be like. But also is she's getting ready to give us hypotheses. And uh, you know, you don't generally see hypotheses in their own section or listed like this in uh, published papers, published articles, uh, but I think it's a very, very good way to go about doing it by thinking about hypotheses as being formally and explicitly stated like this. Now, again, by this time in her career, Brenda had uh, had a course on you know all the statistics courses that the department offered, and also an upper level experimental design course. So she knew what main effects were and interactions are. Uh, you may or may not be able to by yourself uh, describe results that specifically, but hopefully uh, by coming and talking to me, you will be able to. Uh, you, you know, specifically enough describe your hypothesis. Then we move on to the method section. Uh, she had a pilot study because again she was so well socialized by everybody in the department there she understood the benefits of a pilot study. Pilot study is a you know, study you do before the main study to make sure that everything will work the way it will. That is, uh, will your operational definitions work the way that you expect them to? And the pilot study is set up just like a you know, method section for the main study, subjects, material, and procedure. And then she has a section for the main stu study, subjects, or you know, this was uh, what, uh, 16 years ago, and APA style has changed. We don't use subjects anymore for people, we use participants. Uh, and we use measures for paper, uh, you know, uh, paper tests and things like that. Uh, back then we use instruments. Uh, but uh, the same pretty much applies you know, now as it did 16 years ago. Uh, she describes the number of subjects that she wants to use. Uh, and then she goes into her materials, Rotter's IE scale. Uh, she describes the psychometric problem. And then she goes on to describe uh, the specific uh, materials that she's going to create for her study. Then the procedure. Notice how the procedure reads as basically a timeline. And that's one of the good things, uh, that's one of the things that a good procedure section should do. It should read like a timeline where it gives you an idea of what happened to part and the results section of a uh, research proposal is very, very short. Uh, you know, I would be expecting your results sections to be generally what she has under results, uh, in that you're going to do a two-way ANOVA or a two-by-three ANOVA. It's going to be mixed, whatever, you know, the stuff from, what is that, chapter uh, eight or nine in and then discussion, because this was a uh, research proposal, the discussion is going to be a what if. And 
and so therefore she gives us a what if. The implications of this study would be this. And the references, the reference style has changed in the last 16 years, so that'll be different. And then she has a because again, she has been in classes where she's developed things like this. She has worked for professors uh, who have you know, had you know, procedures like this, so she's aware of that. Uh, so that's she put that in. I think it's a little padding on her part, but you know,